Oh, oh, oh God. What are you doing? What are you doing, crazy bird? Huh? What are you doing? What are you doing, you little monster? Hmm? Hmm? Go, fly that way. All right, I'm gonna go over here. Nope. Hey, you. Taruk, come on. Come on, let's go. Come here. Come on. Not bad. Not bad, you little crazy chicken. Mm. El Pollo Loco. So, I, I, oh my God, I'm getting attacked. Uh, as you can see, she's in a decent mood today. Right? You're in a good mood today. Ready to babe? Hey, don't bite me hard like that. Ah. You don't do that. Alright, what is up people? How the hell are ya? Welcome to the show. Alright, so today we just gotta do some feeding. Before I go to work, gotta feed Russ. He's hungry. He's definitely out and about looking for food, being a little crazy guy. And then we're gonna feed Batman. It's been it's been probably eight weeks since we fed Batman, right? Yeah, eight weeks. Like I said before, we were gonna bump his feeding a little bit far in between, so that way we can regulate his weight a little bit better. Because when I got him, he was a little on the heavy side, but now his weight is looking great. He's not super fat anymore. The weight on her, Robin, is doing fantastic. She looks great as well. Slimming down good. That diet did you well, Batman. So today, we're gonna feed him. I got a uh, rabbit thawing out in the sink. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go grab him right now and let's get these animals fed. All right, first things first. Let's safely get Robin out of the cage. Because obviously, we cannot feed these animals together. You don't want them fighting over food or trying to eat it at the same time. That is never good. Imagine if they started to eat the same thing and then I gotta go in there and try to separate two big ass rattlesnakes from pretty much eating each other. That would not be good, right? Exactly. So, we're going to do this the safe way. We're gonna take her out first, since we're feeding Batman. We're gonna feed Batman inside of his cage. And we're gonna feed her separate. All right, so let's get Robin in the trash can. Put her nice and gently down there. Always gotta be super careful putting these guys in and out of the can. The last thing I wanna do, man, that rattle is so loud. But the last thing that I wanna do is have anything happen to that rattle. All it takes is a snake to hit that rattle down on something really hard and it'll break right off. And I would hate for that to happen to one of my big rattlesnakes, man. Just cause, dude, yeah, the rattles are awesome. It takes a long time for them to grow. And they're beautiful. Like, look at that. Like, look at this monster rattle. Look how big that rattle is on this snake, man. It's just, it's impressive, dude. It's awesome, it's beautiful. So, you just gotta make sure when you're handling your rattlesnakes, you wanna be very careful of putting them in and out of the trash can or in and out of their cages. Because Beetlejuice, his rattle was huge at one point and he was going crazy one day, smacked it up against the hide box in the cage and it broke off. So now you can barely even hear him when he rattles. So, gotta be super careful with that. With that said, I'm gonna go grab the rabbit and we're gonna feed this thing. Okay. Here we go, Batman, time to eat some food, okay? Got little bunny foo foo out of the freezer. Thought it out in my sink and now you're gonna be food. Oh, 
that was quick. Right to the face. See that? Great. So let's just leave this little guy right here. Boom. He just did the initial strike. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna leave that rabbit there. And in a second, he's gonna go up to the head, smell it out, and swallow it whole. So let's let him do his thing. All right, so while we're waiting on Batman to eat that uh, rabbit right there, we're gonna feed Russ at the same freaking time to kill two birds with one stone, you know? Or kill a uh, kill a rabbit and a berm with two snakes. Look at this, Rusty. He is just ready to eat. Don't go in that little thing, you little prop. There you go. Check that out. Right in the head. God, he's such a good eater, man. Great. Oh, that's nice and delicious for you. These berms, I remember when we first started feeding Rusty, I had to cut these berms to pieces. Literally had to cut them in thirds because he was so small when I first got them. Now, he's taking down a whole one, no problem at all. He could probably even take a couple down if I really wanted to. So, these next few feedings, this one I didn't stuff any wrap pups into, just because I ran out of wrap pups, I gotta wait till next Wednesday before I get my shipment in. Um, I'm gonna start stuffing them with rats again next time, so that way it's just more food for him. Because I only have, I probably have like 12 of these berms left, but they're all around this size. So just to increase, uh, increase the mass of his meals, we're going to start stuffing them so he just has more nutrients and more food per feeding. Make him grow nice and big and strong like Kevin. All right, little intermission. Seeing how Batman takes forever to eat. We're going on, dude, we're going on like 35 minutes right now of him eating that rabbit. So, Rusty has been done. Rusty finished eating yesterday, pretty much. So, like, he's a fast eater. He just slurps those things down. So while we're waiting, I'm gonna go feed Robin a jumbo rat. So let's go right in here in this trash can. I haven't ever tried feeding her in the trash can yet, but I don't see why she wouldn't eat it. Sometimes snakes are weird, they only want to eat inside their enclosure. But uh, let's see if, let's see if uh, Robin wants to snack on this guy right here. There we go. Awesome. Perfect, man. Did she just bit him on the head? So we're just gonna let her do her thing. And hopefully she eats that jumbo rat in this trash can. And then when Batman's done, put them back in together. Bada bing, bada boom. Everybody's happy, everybody's fed. And I can get on with my life. Alright, we're going on 45 minutes here. It's the longest feeding session ever. It's a good thing my appointment today is at 1 o'clock, not 12, because I'd be very late to work. <laughs> but, first things first, gotta take care of the animals, because these are my babies, so always gotta make sure they're taken care of before I go to work. But he is almost done eating. You can see. He's got just some feet hanging out of his mouth. So hopefully, in the next couple minutes, he should slurp these things down 
And then he's going to reset his jaw and his fangs back in place and get everything all nice and situated again and comfortable for him. And then that's it. So, not too bad, Batman. Thanks, bro. Glad that you ate, finally. You've been hungry. We were looking back on the videos, seeing exactly when it was that we fed him last. And it's been six weeks, not eight weeks, which is good enough. You know, pretty much the whole goal of cutting his food back a little bit was just to watch his weight and make sure that he's not going to be crazy overweight. I want him to stay nice and healthy, obviously, and live for a long time. We got to keep that body fat percentage down. Right, bro? Look at that face, dude. Such a pretty animal. So he is finally done eating. So we're gonna go ahead and put his girlfriend back. She also, look, no more jumbo rat in that trash can. She ate as well. Ate in the trash can, it's awesome. But I still wanna get her like a nice big Tupperware container. I'm probably gonna go to Home Depot and get like a nice big sweater box for her. Like I used to, uh, I used to use to catch iguanas, but yeah, look at that, great, go in there, sweetie, boom, hell yeah, both of these guys got really good meals in today, that's awesome, she ate a jumbo, he slammed down that rabbit, whew, that took long enough, Thank God these videos aren't as long as the actual feedings. You guys would have been here forever watching this. So that is it. I gotta finish getting ready and go to work and continue my day. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure if you're not subscribed, go hit that subscribe button. Turn on those post notifications so you know when I, when I post a video, it'll send a notification to your phone. That way you can keep up with everything. Make sure you like, leave some comments. I'll try to get back to whoever I can. Thank you guys so much for everything. You guys rock. Till next time, peace out.